Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm showing you an awesome tool called Shadow Box Maker, made by Maker World. It lets you turn ordinary 2D images into beautiful, multi layered 3D shadow boxes, perfect for gifts, art pieces, or just cool home decor. Whether you're a 3D printing fan or a digital artist looking to experiment, this tool opens up a whole new creative playground. So let's dive right in. First things first, how do you find it? Just go to MakerWorld.com, then head over to MakerLab. You'll find a lot of cool tools here, but today we're focusing on Shadowbox Maker, located at the bottom of the page. You can save up to 30 projects to your My List. To start, just click the green Create from Blank button. There are two options, upload an image, or use AI to generate a suitable image. On the right side, there are also some sample images you can use if you prefer. Let's first see how the AI generation works. You can either generate from text or use a reference image. With text generation, simply describe what you want. For example, bear fishing by the river. It might take a little time for the AI to generate the image, And it's done. It looks pretty nice, but I noticed that the fishing rod has some very small details, which might not be ideal for a shadow box. If you don't like the result, just generate a new one. Let's try again. This second image looks better than the first. But if you don't want to use AI, you can find suitable images on sites like Pixabay or VecTZ. Important, avoid images that have rich colors, complex textures, unclear edges or structures. Instead, look for simple colors. Clear edges, a strong sense of depth and separation. Finding the right image can take time, so I'll skip ahead. I've found a few good images to test. To upload your own, just drag and drop the file or select it manually. You can pick different crop ratios and adjust the image by moving and zooming using the slider. Once you're happy, hit continue. Now it's time to create the layers. You have several tools. Pan tool brush, wand pencil eraser. The wand tool is the easiest. Set the intensity, I recommend around 80%. Click on the parts you want to select. Sometimes the one tool selects too much at once. If that happens, just hit undo, lower the intensity a little, and try selecting again. Then hit apply to create a layer. Each color should become a separate layer. When a layer is correctly created, you'll see a green check mark. If there's a problem, you'll see a yellow exclamation mark. If you run into issues, try rearranging the layer order by dragging them left or right. Use the eraser tool to fix trouble spots. You can delete and remake layers if necessary. If two layers need to be combined, simply click the merge symbol between them. Once all layers are correctly made, click Add Connectors. Now you can export your design as a 3MF file. Choose between Light Shadow Mode, Multicolor Mode, Preview your model, and if everything looks good, download the file. Now it's time to 3D print. I'll be using the Creality K2 Plus, but any printer should work fine. 
If you don't have 3D printer, but you need something to 3D print, just type in pcbweight.com and start ordering your stuff. There are many different types of 3D printing you can choose from. Different materials, PCBWay also makes custom PCBs. They provide CNC milling series, sheet metal fabrication and injection molding. For slicing, I use Creality Print. The 3MF file comes with printing settings included but make sure you adjust your printer and filament settings as needed. During printing, one of the tree supports came loose from the bed. I hadn't calibrated before printing, so that likely caused weak adhesion. I saved the print by holding the support in place until the top layer secured it. Important tips. Let the print bed cool completely before removing layers. Or Carefully use a scraper, but don't damage the bed. About printing orientation. Printing upright uses more filament and time, but makes support removal easier. Laying it flat saves material but risks weak supports. Personally, I prefer the upright print surface finish. You can create up to 10 layers in a shadow box. Assembly is simple. Just stack the layers inside the case in the correct order. I actually swapped a few layers because they looked better that way. Let's check the results. Five layer box. The yellow layer wasn't aligned perfectly. Maybe I made a mistake. Three layer blue glitter box. Looks awesome. A bit transparent, but I love the effect. Another three layer box. Perfect color combo and great finish. Multicolor sign works, but personally, I would recommend printing signs with a multicolor printer or change colors at different layer heights. Seven layer box. It's okay, but I realized more layers doesn't always mean better. Sometimes fewer layers look cleaner and nicer. And that's it. I hope you found this guide helpful. If you make a shadow box, I'd love to see your creations. Feel free to tag me or comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell so you won't miss future projects. Thanks for watching.